Hey everyone, Jimmy here from Norway Lutheran Church. Coming to you from my basement, I got my boy Iron Man here with me to teach you a little bit more about Christ's love. I don't know about you, but ever since 2008 when Iron Man came out, I have fallen in love with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They have built a vast array of heroes and villains with all sorts of different backgrounds and interests and motives, and I can't get enough of it. Disney, just take all my money. I remember getting to go see the first Avengers movie in college with two of my roommates at the time, and we got all dressed up in thrift store costumes, kind of looking like Peter Parker in the early days, just without powers. But over the last 12 years and 22 movies later, there have been some really magical moments in the MCU. Like when Thor showed up at the last minute in the Battle of Wakanda. Yes! Yes! Only to be followed moments later by sobs and tears in just a snap. No, not Peter. One of my favorite moments in the MCU is from Thor Ragnarok. You see, now Thor Ragnarok is the third Thor movie, and what I want to share with you comes at the end of Thor Ragnarok. So if you don't want any spoilers, you better pause now. Seriously, if you don't want to know, pause it. Okay, now that they're all gone. You see, by the end of Thor Ragnarok, after a three-movie arc of Thor, we've seen him get dumped by his girlfriend. I dumped her. This is a mutual dumping. His mom was killed by the Dark Elves. His dad dies. He has a tumultuous relationship with his brother. He gets in a fight with his sister. He becomes king of Asgard, all only to watch it be destroyed at the end of Thor Ragnarok. Thor has seemingly lost everything. But one line always sticks out to me at the end of Thor Ragnarok. As Thor and all the Asgardians who got away on the ship are sitting there watching the planet be destroyed as they fly away, Thor remembers the words of his father. Asgard is not a place, never was. This could be Asgard. Asgard is where our people stand. Asgard is not a place, it's a people. Now I can't help but hear these words for our own Church of Norway. Now that we're living a separated life, we don't get to see each other. Maybe if you're lucky, you might run into someone at the grocery store. We are still the congregation of Norway Lutheran Church. And better yet, we are still children of God. Norway is not a place, it's a people. And better yet, we are Christians with brothers and sisters all across the world. Ephesians 2, 19 to 22 says, So you are no longer outsiders and strangers. You are citizens together with God's people. You are also members of God's family. You are a building that is built on the apostles and prophets. They are the foundation. Christ Jesus himself is the most important stone of the building, the cornerstone. The whole building is held together by him. It rises to become a holy temple because it belongs to the Lord. And because you belong to him, you too are being built together. You are being made into a house where God lives through his spirit. We too are not tied down to one place. Norway is simply a vessel for us to gather in. We still belong to a greater community of God's children. And while life may seem strange and weird today, this is not our forever. We are still a community of faith and we are still a community of Christ followers. And while we can't meet in our normal space at church, we are still one in Christ. Norway is not a place, it is a people. God bless.